Salute to um Lewis Barrow, man. Louis B, man. He says Jared Taylor made a video about your favorite mayor, Tiffany Henyard. It's called the lighter side of Africa. Yo, drop that, man. Drop that in the back chat, man. I didn't know Jared Teller made a video about Tiffany Henry. Oh, you, you're joking, right? You're joking. You're being funny. Okay. Okay. You're being funny. You're being funny. You're being funny. Let's see what this sub man is talking about, man. Let's see what this sub man is talking about, man. That's a dog, a dog asshole. You feel me? This is Cobb organization, and they want to fucking fire me for some unjust shit because this racist ass bitch want to play with me. Yeah, don't say shit. <sighs> wow, man, shocking, man. I can't believe you got fired, man. <laughs> I completely agree with you, man. I'm black. I have a brain the size of a P. From this video, this proves to me your behavior in this video proves that is absolutely no reason she could have fired you, man. <laughs> you were one hundred percent respectful, cordial. I mean, up until this moment, of course. But I one hundred percent believe that you were above board and you were professional in every way, up until this moment, man. And the only reason she could have fired you was race, man. Thanks for dropping this video, man, and proving that, man. Press one. That's a dog. A dog asshole. You feel me? This is Cobb organization, and they want to fucking fire me for some unjust shit because this racist ass bitch want to play with me. Yeah, don't say shit. You know not to say shit. Fuck out of here. These bitches want to fire me. Then you got this nigga. He the property. He the fucking project manager and shit. He supposed to be standing on business, but he's sucking her fucking pussy. I'm convinced, man. I'm a black person, man. I got the I got a brain the size of a grain of salt. Of course, he was absolutely professional, one hundred percent professional. In um in every way and in, in in his his dec his decorum and his 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 behavior in the, on the job site was one thousand percent above board. And the only reason this woman could have fired him is because of the color of his skin. And the, I I mean I'm a black person. That right. So, so this 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 one hundred this proves it to me. This is how black people think. This is how you prove the black people that you were fired erroneously. So yeah, I'm convinced as a black person. I'm convinced. Press one if you hear the subtle threats of violence. Press one if you hear the, the subtle innuendo those to a violence he, he drops. Not so subtle. That's a dog. A dog asshole. You feel me? This is Cobb organization. And they want to fucking fire me for some unjust shit because this racist ass bitch want to play with me. Yeah, don't say shit. You know not to say shit. Fuck out of here. 
These bitches want five minutes. Then you got this nigga. He the property. He the fucking project manager and shit. He supposed to be staying on business, but he's sucking her fucking pussy. So now he not trying to stand on business and let a nigga keep his fucking job. Something's fucking what? She be bending you over? She, sp she stick the strap in? Huh? She be fucking you in your ass? Huh? Shut up. Nobody want to hear shit from you. Fuck y'all. Give me my paperwork. Give me my paperwork. Give me my paperwork. Shut the fuck up, Melissa, you mouse ass hoe. Shut up. Look at you. You look fucking crazy. You mad because I ain't give you no dick. I know what the real problem is, bitch. And I should have been filed sexual harassment on that ass when you said the first couple remarks, you dumb bitch. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, I should have been. I should have been. I knew it. The moment you found out Shorty right here, you started acting different. I'm glad. I hope the fuck she is. I hope the fuck she is. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck all y'all. Give me my motherfucking paperwork. And poor, these poor white people, I feel sorry for these poor gliders, man. <laughs> All these poor gliders, man. <laughs> yeah, put it in the back chat, or send it to me, Louis Barrow. Send it to me, email it to me, or put it in the back chat. These poor gliders, right? They think by standing there and just staring at the camera silently, they think that they're like, look, guys, they're, they're letting his behavior speak for itself. They think. <laughs> These white people think, well, if we just allow him to go on and just be silent. The black viewers of this video on TikTok and Instagram and Twitter will clearly see. His behavior. Is part of a bigger pattern. Poor gliders, man. <laughs> Press what, man? <laughs> Press what, man? These gliders, I mean, I feel sorry for these gliders, man. They're all like, they're all like, don't say anything, Sarah. They'll see his behavior, and they'll know that this is part of a larger pattern. This is how he behaved in general around here. They don't know sons, man. They don't know black folk. Black folk, black folk don't think like that. Black folk think like, shit, man, fuck, man. They racist, man. Black folk is already trying to find out these three white people's information, man, so they can dox them and shit. <laughs> and out them as racist. Press one, man. Black people are already... Black women, especially with stuff like this, black men ain't really good at stuff like this. Black women are finding out these people's social media, um, the, the phone numbers where they work, and they're already making phone calls alerting their supervisors that they have racists in their building. They're already... Finding these white people's LinkedIn accounts and spamming them with bad comments. <laughs> spamming these white people's Facebook pages. Making posts like with their pictures in it. Did you know that such and such at Cobb? And he said the, he said the job too. So he helped them out. Where, what's the job? Where they at? That's a dog. A dog asshole. You feel me? This is Cobb Organization. Cobb Organization. Oh, yeah. He done already helped the sisters out, man. They they don't even need to do a lot of work to, um, <laughs> to dox these people, man. These people, these people are done. Oh, this is Georgia. Yeah, Cobb Organization in Georgia. Oh, shit. I should have known it was Georgia by how zesty he was. Wow. They don't know how black folk think, man. I feel sorry for them white people, man. They think they got black folk fucked up.
Them white people think they're being vindicated. <laughs> and white people think they're being vindicated by letting them go off and shit. Like, oh. Susan, zip it, Susan. Allow him to bury him. Allow him to dig his own grave. The more he talks, the more they'll see how much of a moron and how much of a piece of shit he is. And how uh, this behavior he's displaying in front of this camera right now is indicative of the type of behavior he showed on the job site. So just shush it, Saren. Shush it, Jill. Uh, all we have to do is let him talk. And um, every, the, the, the people will be on our side when they see this. Poor Gladys. <laughs> Gladys biggest, 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 um, biggest fault their biggest weakness is thinking other people think like them press one white folks biggest fault is thinking that other people think like them press one <laughs> That's your big. This is the Cobb Collaborative. I think this is where this guy's work. <laughs> Bringing good people together to do great things. Oh man. Community impact is challenging to achieve. <laughs> no shit. True words were never spoken, man. <laughs> True words were never spoken, man. Every community has a wide, wide range of needs, and Cobb County is no exception. Improving the lives of everyone in the community is daunting and, and a complex challenge. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying. But there's a way for all of us to work together towards collectively improving our county. Good luck with that. Key initiatives for collective impact. Mental health, literacy, and civic engagement. Oh, shit, man. <sighs> Thank you for helping nonprofits survive. Assessing the needs of our community. <laughs> Your community got big needs, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. Your community got big needs, man. Yeah, man. These poor gliders, man. These, these gliders gonna get home and be like, hey, wait a second. They're not, everyone's mad at us. <laughs> He's gonna get home. And he gonna turn on his computer on his social media and he's gonna be like, hey, what the f what the Jiminy Ricketts? <laughs> what the Jiminy Ricketts? They're at, everyone's mad at me. I, I, I <laughs> That's a dog. A dog asshole. You feel me? This is Cobb organization, and they want to fucking fire me for some unjust shit because this racist ass bitch want to play with me. Yeah, don't say shit. You know not to say shit. Fuck out of here. 
These bitches want fire me. Then you got this nigga. He the property. He the fucking project manager and shit. He supposed to be staying on business, but he's sucking her fucking pussy. So now he not trying to stand on business and let a nigga keep his fucking job. Something's fucking what? She be bending you over? She, sp she stick the strap in? Huh? She be fucking you in your ass? Huh? Shut up. Nobody want to hear shit from you. Fuck y'all. Give me my paperwork. Give me my paperwork. Give me my paperwork. Shut the fuck up, Melissa, you mouse ass hoe. Shut up. Look at you. You look fucking crazy. You mad because I ain't give you no dick. I know what the real problem is, bitch. And I should have been filed sexual harassment on that ass when you said the first couple of remarks, you dumb bitch. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, I should have been. I should have been. I knew it. The moment you found out Shorty right here, you started acting different. I'm glad. I hope the fuck she is. I hope the fuck she is. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck all y'all. Again, man, you gliders just don't get it, man. <laughs> you gliders just don't get it, man. I'm seeing some comments that are troubling, man. I'm seeing some troubling comments in the comment section, man. Magpie Annie says, does he realize employers do go through potential candidate social media and they get his unemployment denied over this? <laughs> Everybody make fun of Magpie Annie, man. She just doesn't understand how, this, how the world works. That only applies for gliders, man. <laughs> that only applies for gliders, man. Black folk, we don't have to. That, that doesn't apply to us, man. Look, look at through a black person's social media. Listen, if 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 potential jobs look through a black person's social media, the things black people post on their social media, yo, a guy like this would never have gotten hired here. You would never get hired anywhere if, if they looked through your social media, man. Everybody make fun of Magpie Annie, man. She's a moron, man. Um. Special Tiger says he will never get a job again. Again, man. Make fun of these people, man. These people are morons, man. <laughs> this son man can work anywhere. This son man will can get a job tomorrow somewhere else. He the, the standard of behavior is different. He's not expected to only only gliders are like all all those things you're saying are true for. For, for for white people but for black people we have a different they there's a we live in a different world man <laughs> yeah he gonna get hired people gonna hire him because of what happened to him some it, some white woman somewhere is gonna be like gonna call him and be like hey I see what happened to you at your last job I see how they treated you um would you like to come work with my children? <laughs> Press what? There's a liberal white woman somewhere who will track him down, call him, apologize on behalf of her whole over the whole race, apologize. Look, I'm sorry the way they, they treated you. I, I saw your video and I saw how they treated you at your last job, all the things they did to you. Um, would you like to come babysit my children? <laughs> <laughs> There's a white woman somewhere that's that's gonna do that. I promise you. <laughs> Me and my husband are going out of town. Would you like to? We need somebody to watch our children in our in our home while we're gone. <laughs> Y'all just don't understand how the way the world works, man. This he 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 will face zero consequences for this. And like I said, they're all fucked. The Ben filed sexual harassment on that ass when you said the first couple of remarks, you dumb bitch. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. I should have been. I should have been. I knew it. The moment you found out Shorty right here, you started acting different. I'm glad. I hope the fuck she is. I hope the fuck she is. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck all y'all. Give me my motherfucking paperwork. 
Give me my motherfucking paperwork. Y'all look fucking crazy. Look, I look like the fucking the slave master now, don't I? I look like the slave master now, don't I? Fuck y'all. Got the fucking audacity to have farms and shit and try to play with a young nigga about his paper. Fuck y'all. 100%. 100%. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Where's my paperwork? Where's my paperwork? Where's my paperwork? Y'all stand here well, watching me. I'm about, about to get sturdy for the ass. Finish. I'm about to get sturdy for the ass. Can <sighs> someone watch me? Hold on. Salute the Beast Life Over 50 says, I don't understand how people can come on here and not simply hit the like button. It's the first thing I do as soon as I click on the video. Shout out to you, man. Beast Life Over 50. Let me see how many likes we got. Come on, guys. All we need is 32 more likes, man, so I can bring these guys up and they can get a piece of this, man. I know the I know the the your 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 the 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 Octation wants to get a piece of this man. I'm gonna drop the link, man, so you guys can hit the link, man. But yeah, man. This is my man dance the jig, man. I remember <laughs> They just always talking about black people dancing the jig in front of white people, man. That shit is so true, man. Black people always even even twerk a sister. If he was a sister, he would have twerked. Salute to Natasha O'Neill and her um and her glider king, man. Says salute Ock and baby Ock. Just jumped in. Was busy with work. How do I join the panel? I just put the link in the description box. The link is in the description box. You can hit the link. We're still waiting on um we, we're still waiting on um like 32 more likes so I can bring everybody up, but we'll see how 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 long it takes to get those 32 more likes. Um yeah, man. Teach me how to sunny. Teach, teach me how to sunny. 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 Teach me, teach me how to sunny. We need six more likes, man. Come on, man. Six more likes I can bring up. Who we got in the back? We got Fisherman. We got Hot Black. Six more likes, man. Link in the description box. Anybody want to come up, man? Shout out to Z, man. He say good evening, man. Z say good evening. 201. All right, there we go. We in the building, man. We in the building. What's up, guys, man? What, what, what's your thoughts on this, man? You were doing that rap. You know, uh, All I think all the rap members of the Cali Swag District, the, the dudes who did the Teach Me How to Dougie song, are all dead now. <laughs> and, and That's good news. Is that true? Because I know one of them died. Half of them, I think, at least. So it's like oh, two wow. or four. That's so crazy. That is so crazy. Wow. Well, actually... I mean, not, that's about par for the course. Not, not crazy. That's so not crazy. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I, I feel sorry for these gliders because in their mind, 
they're like, all right, let's just sit here and just let him make a fool of himself. And then get, go home and watch social media react to his buffoonery and and clearly see that this video is indicative of the type of behavior he displayed on the job site, which led to his termination. I know a couple of different uh, gliders have told me about having these experiences at their work of trying to fire a son and the nightmare that it was. Oh, yeah, it's a hell of a nightmare, Jack. I worked at Home Depot for eight years. I've seen it plenty of times. It's Yo, it it's to the point where me, and 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 I hate to say this, I wouldn't hire sons just because of the potential of what would happen if I ever had to fire them. Because the way they act, it make you feel unsafe. Like you can't walk to your car, like you can't just skip to your car that night after you fire the son because you're thinking like, is this the way this motherfucker acted? This motherfucker might be out here. He's gonna come twerk and then kill you. <laughs> yeah, man, I've, I've seen it now. Most most of them just go about their business, but out of their population, incidents like this are like. Like, put like this, if you have, let's say you have 100 sons, 100 Ombrito employees, 100 Glider employees, and 100 Tiger employees, and you run in the business, that's 400 employees. Now, let's just say out of each of those 100 groups, 20 people get fired from each group, from each racial group. You're going to have about 10 incidents like this from sons zero from the tigers zero from the gliders and maybe one or two from the hispanics how many are gonna dance their way out yo they're not gonna dance they're gonna yeah. knock shit off the shelf Sla yeah slap a random white woman at her desk yeah knock yeah. shit off the shelf call everybody yeah, a bitch ass or racist holes in the wall shit like that yeah yeah um, I mean, it's just like telling them to leave the club. It's the same thing. Exactly you cannot. Like you cannot like tell. That. Hold on, the club though. You're just telling them to leave, and you can't get a refund. Hi, we got your money that you that you spent on the club. So you not only are you leaving, but we're taking money that you spent for a night of partying. We're cutting your party night short. And we're not giving you money back. Well, now, I mean, you heard him. He, they're fucking with the somewhere's paper over here. Here we're saying we're taking your life, your, your life source, your your future pay, your money, and we're asking you to leave. Yo, this is a dangerous situation, Jack. A nigga buy this paper. Fuck y'all. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Where's my paperwork? Where's my paperwork? Where's my paperwork? Y'all sitting here watching me. Alone, I'm way. about to get sturdy for the ass. I'm about to get sturdy for the ass. Cause y'all wanna watch me. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's what y'all like? That's what y'all like? Yo. Tiny, why are you Shut the fuck up, why bitch. Are you Shut the fuck up, that? bitch. Shut up. Why are you live streaming this? Don Dada. Don Dada the farm 43. Why the fuck they don't fire the Don Dada? These dumbass bitches, you got ties, you got Melissa's bitch ass in this motherfucker trying to play with Don. You recording me, bitch? Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. You was unjust. Obviously, because you're recording yourself, but never mind. You was unjust. This is what the fuck y'all wanted. <sighs> this story is to be continued. It's not over yet. You never There's know. a glider female I know that had something like this and the, they were trying to let go of a son chick. And she just walked around the office and just called all the gliders racist over and over again. And they had to get people there to escort her out of the building. And it took them yeah. like months. Security. You got to have security. Always have security on when you're, hot, when you're firing a, um, a son, man. 
Yeah, security is very <laughs> important, man. Ca- calling them racist while she's probably being racist. <laughs> yeah, probably. Call crack ass cave drill up, drill up, fucking like. Yeah, y'all, you know, damn, we we built the offices, we built this country. I swear, I've never oh. heard more foul shit spew from somebody's mouth than from the mouth of a black woman that's pissed off. You know, like personally. <laughs> Uh, Cobb organization. Uh, yeah, man. What he what he do wrong, man? He ain't do nothing wrong, man. Um, he, he didn't do nothing. Have you heard Charleston White's whole like business model of getting hired and fired and suing? Oh, suing? Yeah, yeah. Where well, he's like in the lunch room and they're talking about who they fucked. And he'll complain about it, get sued, and sue them. Have you seen the Tesla lawsuit? Who? No. Charleston Weiss? Yeah, Tesla. Yeah, yeah. No. Like whole, yeah, he Charleston head. does that, but Tesla is a black dude in California, got fired from or no, he filed a lawsuit for racism and like those racial slurs at the workplace and all that. And he sued Tesla for like over a hundred million dollars. And it turns out that it was just a bunch of sons saying the N word right. on the factory floor. And he was suing because he felt like that was a racist work environment. Because mm. because the gliders didn't stop it. Makes sense. Yeah. Gliders. Like, oh, I said, you know, oh, you know, this is a typical like, oh, what's up, my nigga? Like, just dumb shit like that. And he whoa, sued him over a hundred million dollars. Face, will you? Yo, yo, yeah. Say what you want about the Juice Crew, man, but don't say the sum word. Yeah, don't you ever. Well, I just did. Shame on so you. you guys are kind of in on it too. Like y'all are very, you know. Shame y'all, on y'all play yo your face. part. Yo, I, man, I used to look up to you, fish. Hey, hey, wicked chill. Our, our shekels are at risk here. <laughs> yeah, man. White people don't want to be criticized for what their ancestors did. But they sure as hell want to hold on to their profits. Their <laughs> ancestors left. Mm. Mm. Yo, I, yo, I, I did see a, 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 the in the in the news how Kia settled that lawsuit for 